Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Zuflix, and today I'm bringing you some Vertigo Domination. And um, well, let's just say you're uh, you're in uh, you're in for a bit of a treat today. Um, this is a gameplay that I actually just got, and um, I'm actually really really proud of it. Um, I'm liking the MP7. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of started using it again. Uh, I put up my class and my score streaks. The score streak setup I I really like now. It's like I don't know, I was just I was I did really good this game and this is part three of improving your COD skills and I'm just gonna I was camping here, I'm sorry. Um I'm just gonna talk about really quick, um choosing the proper gun for the map layout and like the environment and the situations that you're gonna be in. And knowing, like when I came to this game, I knew that Vertigo was going to be kind of, you know, a close range map. A lot of the engagements are close range. And uh, you see, like, if you just look at the map loadout really quick, you can see, like, everywhere in the middle of the map, it's kind of just set up really, um, just for, like, it's, everything's really crowded. And um, I think it's just, like, it's an SMG map, really, and um, I said use the MP7, and that's the first step to like every map. Like, look, know what the map is, and then like over here, you kind of see I got myself into like the longer range part of the map down like at the bottom. It's like the engagements are a little bit longer range, and but I'm coming up here on their spawn, and so we'll watch this, and yeah, I died. <laughs> but um like you have to know f like the map if there's shorter engagements or longer engagements and then pick your gun based on that like I figured that I would be spending most of my time in the middle which is what I did and I won a lot of my gunfights because of the gun that I was using and you know, like let's say like if I was playing turbine on the other hand I wouldn't be using the MP7. I'd probably be using like something like the FAL or the M8 or a longer range assault rifle. And so that's just like one point that I have to hit pretty hard. And like all the engagements on this map really are like, pretty pretty close range, unless you're down in the uh, bottom part of the map where you see like the enemies responding right now that's that's a little bit longer and it's, it's kind of hard to win gunfights over there if you're using like an mp7 or something but um no matter like what smg you use on this map you kind of have to know this is an smg map vertigo and you kind of start to figure that out the more you play every map you kind of start to figure out like what guns work on different maps and so like i have my classes set up so that I have like a good balance of assault rifles and submachine guns, generally, and I'll have classes thrown in for whatever you know. Let's say like I'll have classes thrown in for screwing around, like some a sniper class every once in a while. I usually always have a sniper class. I don't right now. I haven't for a while. Um, I've just been trying to get to master prestige again because I want to get, I want to get there before Ghost comes out, and I don't think that'll be much of a problem. So, but, um, but yeah, that's, like, really, I kind of hit that, that point, you know, like, know what map it is, know what the engagements are, and pick your gun based on that, and if you want to do really good in a game, my suggestion would be to use a submachine gun or a saw rifle, if you want to, like, really succeed, it's hard to, it's hard to go try hard with, like, let's say a shotgun, because you can't control, like, uh, like, those, a shotgun is for, like, really close engagements, you know, and sometimes you're not going to get those, but if you have a submachine gun, and, like, it's kind of, like, short to medium, you know, and it's just, it's easier to succeed with a gun that can be used at longer ranges, you know, and I, th I think the MP7, honestly, now, that they've screwed up this game completely with all the other SMGs. The MP7 is probably the best submachine gun that you could use right now. And um, I would highly suggest using the class that I have set up. 
uh, go back to the beginning of the video, you know, use that class. I'm only level third or 23, so, like, actually, like, you wouldn't even need to be level 23. You get the MP7 right away. Um, I have C4 permanently unlocked and scavenger, so I guess that you kind of have to do that and all, but, um, you could substitute scavenger with toughness or C4 with whatever equipment you like more if uh, you like an equipment more I don't know I've used C4 quite a bit and it's probably one of my favorite equipments to use and um, yeah this is pretty this is a pretty quick second round um, I'm still kinda trying to figure out this whole CODcast thing <laughs> um, I'm actually, that's what I'm using right now it's uh it's kind of like this is a map. I can bring this up. I take B without a problem, as you can see. Um, this little thing right here, I think, I can go and like switch over to other players and watch what they're doing or whatever. You know, got my options over here. I don't know. I don't need to mess with those. I don't think. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, I don't know, let's see, um, oh yeah, I was talking about the MP7 class, um, yeah, you can use this class and the score streak setups right away, like, the score streak setup that I have, I think I'm probably gonna use for a while, I really liked it, and, um, it's just, it's a nice score streak setup, like, it, it levels out pretty nice, and, uh, we're not even watching me, what are we doing here? We're watching some random. Hold on. Okay, Zufix. This is me, right? Yeah, okay. Now we're watching me. I wonder... Of course, I just went on a tear. <laughs> um, I don't really want to go back. Uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, this... This score streak setup that I have, I, I really like it. It works out nice. Um, Lightning Strike is probably like one of my favorite score streaks. Um, it's almost my deadliest, uh, score streak. Or it is my deadliest score streak, not my most used. My most used score streak is probably UAV, as it is for pretty much everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, this class you can use right when you prestige. It's probably, I would recommend it as the class you should probably use when you prestige, because uh, it just works out really nice for me. And, um, I want to explain, like, the whole extreme conditioning and dexterity thing. A lot of people are like, oh, dexterity isn't even that useful of a perk. Like, you can climb over stuff faster. We, we'll be, um, I, I like that, that part of the perk, but the perk, the side of it that I like the most is the extra, or, like, you, your gun snaps up quicker after you're done sprinting. And that, that helps me out a lot. I can, I'm, like a really big sprinter I like to get like really fast that's why I have lightweight and extreme conditioning um I like running all over the map I, don't, I hate using LMGs and feel so fat using them and that's I like I'm always sprinting pretty much so when I have that extra quick snap I can lock onto targets quicker and it's just I don't know it's a lot nicer for me personally being somebody that runs around a map a lot. I don't know what I was doing there. I was stupid. Um, but yeah, that's the whole extreme conditioning and dexterity thing that I like about it. And scavenger, I, th I feel like it's... If you run around and use a lot of ammo, it's nice. Resupplying equipment, that's probably the best thing about scavenger. Um, but yeah, like it's just a really good class setup, and if you use it on classes, or on maps where you have an SMG, I almost guarantee you'll succeed, so, so yeah, that's it guys, 73 and 9, 4 captures, 13 defends, um, please like the video, and, uh, subscribe if you feel up to it, thanks, bye.